Hello, I am Dr. Sanjay Panikka. I founded Amrita Homeopathy. We have placed two locations in Bangalore, one at Kurumangla, the other at Marathali. B12 deficiency is very commonly seen nowadays. In women, a value of at least 600 and above would be ideal, and in men, a value of 800 and above would be ideal. In your blood test, if you find the range is within the normal range, but if it has not reached 600 in women and 800 in men, then ideally you may need supplementation. And even after supplementation, if your value is not picking up, you definitely need to contact your nearest physician. B12 deficiency can lead to a lot of symptoms. As far as the person is concerned, there can be head heaviness, there can be blurring of vision, there can be mouth ulcers, glossitis, as is commonly seen in alcoholics where the entire papillae of the tongue that is the taste buds are completely become flattened out and you find a shiny glossy tongue this is very typical in chronic alcoholics and so what happens they have no appetite they have digestion is not proper they have diarrhea associated and often b12 deficiency will also have symptoms like palpitation they feel a shortness of breath and you also feel very tired and weak no energy to carry out the day-to-day -day activities body pains and the entire body the muscles start paining and with all this there is also the most common symptom that we find patients coming up with is a little tingling or numbness especially in the hands or feet as we call it peripheral neuropathy b12 deficiency is one of the main reasons so very often uh, even in diabetic you find peripheral neuropathy and b12 usually found to be on the lower side so supplementation of b12 can help in a lot of these patients even it also affects your mental faculties where you feel that memory loss can go down and the person can have depressive disorder or can have anxiety neurosis these are all features of b12 deficiency but it's always best to consult a doctor there rather than taking supplements yourself and as far as homeopathy is concerned be usually treated by correcting the root cause which involves the absorption of the nutrients from your food itself. Now, many patients we have seen that they are on supplements, they are on the right kind of food, yet the B12 is not picking up. That is where the absorption and assimilation is not happening properly. Especially in pernicious anemia, where intrinsic factor is not being produced by the gastric mucosa, that is the parietal cells in the stomach, are not producing intrinsic factor. This intrinsic factor is supposed to combine with B12 and then it can help in the absorption. If that is not happening as it's an autoimmune condition where the destruction of the gastric parietal cells, their alternative medicine like homeopathy helps a great deal to correct the absorption of these nutrients. If there is any other digestive problem, then the correction of the root cause of the issue will also help in better absorption of the nutrients. The common sources of B12 is curds, green leafy vegetables, and then you have liver in non-vegetarians, they can consume liver. Liver is a good source of B12. Again, you have bone marrow, which is a rich source of B12. In vegetarians, banana and various other fruits are also rich in B12.